السلام عليكم صميم يعطيكم العافية أنا زميلتكم حنين الهنيدي واليوم إن شاء الله حشرح لكم لكتور 5 من محاضرات الأناتومي لهاد السيستم قبل كل إشي بحب أحكي لكم رمضان كريم وينعاد علينا وعليكم الصحة والعافية يا رب وكل عام وأنتم بألف خير آه مبدئيا لكتور 5 بتحكي عن ال هاند أند ذي ريست فهون I'm choosing to explain على ال right side of the body so your right hand Uh, وأي إشي هنا حيكون على right hand وما ح ما حروح إلى left hand كتير uh, لأنه it's practically the same thing uh, بحب دائما أبلش بال bones ك base لأي anatomical structure ف uh, the bones of the hand هلا uh, قبل ما ندخل على bones of the hand نرجع نراجع سريعا إنه نحكي إنه the lateral side of the forearm هو the radius و the medial side هو the ulna وزي ما احنا عارفين من تحت الراديوس بيكون thicker than the ulna while the ulna the head of it بيكون distal and بيكون thinner ندخل على ال bones of the hand itself the bones of the hand itself قسم لها three different parts اول شي عنا ال carpals هدول هم ال carpals ال carpals عبارة عن eight bones four منهم بيكونوا proximal and four بيكونوا distal then we move on to the metacarpals we have five metacarpal bones and then we move on to the last part of the hand bones and these are the phalanges the phalanges are fourteen and that's because they are even further divided into proximal, medial and distal But we'll talk about that later. So starting off with the carpal bones, as we said, they are eight and not many proximal, many distal. Sorry, four proximal, four distal. But total, who are eight? عشان نحفظهم بسهولة في a quick mnemonic. هذا mnemonic سهل كتير لأنه أصلاً في جاب في يوسف في الهاند سافن. And it says, stop letting these people touch the cadaver's hand. Stop stands for the uh, scaphoid bone right over here. طبعا احنا لما الممانك هذا ماشي lateral the medial من the proximal row بعدين lateral medial على the distal row. So stop scaphoid letting lunate uh, these the triquetrum bone and people the pisiform bone touch trapezium the trapezoid cadavers capitate And in the hand, a cadaver's hand, hand being the hamate bone. Tama. Our shield scaphoid bone. The scaphoid bone is the most proximal and most lateral carpal bone, and it looks like a peanut shape. Tama. هاي المعلومة مهمة عشان بعدين بس نحكي عن the fractures. So it kind of looks like a peanut. The lunate. The lunate شكلها زي الأمر. كلنا بنعرف إنه lunar. Uh, إشي إله دخل بالأمر زي مثلاً lunar calendar uh, etc. and so the lunate bone looks like a moon. Then we move on to this bone which is the triquetrum. Triquetrum uh, على قولتهم طبعاً إنها إلها three um, angles أو three sides and that's why it's triquetrum. Um, مش كتير صراحة أنا عرفت I I point the three angles. فممكن ال the only way that I could was a not the angle horn and then angle horn and then another angle horn so that's a tri triquetrum um, bone and then for إيها directly لاحظوا إنه it articulates um, the superficial or uh, anterior to the uh, triquetrum bone more than it is uh, medial to it and it's the pisiform bone طبعا هلا هي اسمها pisiform فركزولي على أول part منه p فا P شكلها زي ال P حبت ال P اللي هي البازيلا تمام فهيك احفظوا شكلها uh, moving on to the distal row distal row uh, laterally we have the trapezium برضه عزمتهم شكلها زي ال trapezium I can't really see it maybe the only way is that it looks like a trapezium من هون and then right next to it oops sorry uh, right next to it we have the trapezoid bone and it looks like a wedge And then we have the capitate bone. The capitate bone هاي أسهل واحدة. Capitate يعني captain. فال captain إلى رأس. فهي شكلها زي the head. It is head shaped. وهي يعني أنفو تقريبا. إذا بتكم يعني شوفوا. And then right next to it is the hamate bone. The hamate bone اللي بيميزها برضو إنه it has a hook. 
and this is the hook part of the hemate وطبعا الهمات والكابيتيت بيكونوا جنب بعض ليش بيكوز كنا بنعرف انه كابتن هوك is a very famous cartoon character Moving on to the metacarpals. The metacarpals, um, they are five, and we actually don't have names for them. We just number them. So this is the first metacarpal. Oh, well, metacarpal. We start numbering them from the thumb, uh, and we go laterally to medially. So one, two, three, four, five, and these are all the metacarpals. And then we move on to the uh, phalanges, and then the one mufred phalanges is phalanx. So this is a single phalanx. And then all of them together are phalanges or phalanges. زي ما بتكم. Um, كل كل ال uh, زي ما حكينا they're fourteen. ليش they're fourteen؟ هلا إحنا عنا four uh, fingers and a thumb. The uh, four fingers اللي هون هدول كلهم فيهم three phalanges uh, each. The uh, proximal and then the middle and then the distal. So they all have three except the thumb. The thumb is special. It only has to the proximal and the distal. تمام؟ هيك بنكون خلصنا with the bones of the arm. We're going to move on to the second thing اللي حنحكي عنه شوي كتير اللي هو the joints that are uh, موجودين عند the hand area و the wrist area. طبعا احنا مش بس حنحكي عن the joints within the hand itself but also we're going to talk about the wrist joints and this starts with one of the most important joints اللي هي radio ulnar joints. عشان بلشنا نحكي عن الجوينتس بدنا نشغل ال uh, connective tissues ونبلش نحكي عن ال uh, radio ulnar joint. The radio ulnar joint is this joint right here. It joins the um, uh, head of the ulna right there with the um, radial uh, sorry with the ulnar notch of the radius. طبعا احنا عارفين انه ال radial ulnar joint actually is actually two parts. The part الاول اخذناه ب lecture 3 كانت the proximal اللي هي جزء من ال elbow joint and then the second uh, radial ulnar joint اللي هي ال distal radial ulnar joint وزي ما حكينا it joins the head of the ulna which is right here with the uh, ulnar notch of the radius which is right there. Um, this joint is a synovial pivot joint. Uh, we have articular surfaces for this joint. The first articular surface is, as we said, the uh, head of the ulna. I just want to show you very quickly, if I can, um, the head of the ulna right here. So this is the head of the ulna and it articulates right there. This is the articular circumference of the head of the ulna and it is what articulates with the uh, ulnar notch. The ulnar notch is right there. So I'll also show you very quick. This is the ulnar notch right down there and so they join together. So these are the first uh, uh, articular parts of this radio ulnar joint. The third articular part is actually this little articular death that we have over here, which we will talk about a lot later on, okay? Um, okay, now what's special about this joint is that it has an L-shaped joint cavity. Now, this is very much shown if you look right here. So, I'm going to hide this articular fiber. Now, this is the synovial membrane of the uh, cavity or the capsule, sorry of this joint and as you can see it is very clearly l-shaped and this helps it to bind during the movement and it also separates the uh, distal radio ulnar joint which is this one so this whole joint which is l-shaped uh, from the actual wrist joint and so this is an indication that the radio ulnar joint has nothing to do with the um, wrist joint tamam so, as we said, this is the capsule, and inside it there's synovial fluid, and it is covered by the synovial membrane. It encloses the joint, and it further attaches the ulna to the, ulna to the radius. Uh, and it also is actually kind of a part of the uh, articulation between the proximal row of the carpels to, this, uh, to the ulnar head or the uh, radio ulnar part, or the distal radio ulnar uh, area. Uh, moving on, I'm going to talk about the ligaments. And there are a lot, a lot, a lot of ligaments. So the ligaments over here 
I'm going to start with the anterior palmar radio ulnar ligament. So this is the palmar radio ulnar ligament, and it is actually made up of two parts. Uh, and it this, these are the two parts. This little fibrous part here is actually part of the radio ulnar ligament. Uh, and what it does is that it strengthens the capsule. And then we have the posterior radio ulnar ligament, which is right there. It also strength strengthens the capsule and the whole joint. Then we have medially, we have this ligament right here. Uh, this medial ligament um, is also called the ulnar collateral ligament of the wrist joint. And it is... Uh, it joins between the styloid process of the ulna and goes all the way to the triquetrum or attaches to the triquetrum bone. Then we have on the lateral side, oops, sorry, on the lateral side over here we have this ligament and it is also called the radial collateral ligament of the wrist joint and it joins between the styloid of the radius all the way to the scaphoid bone, attaches to the scaphoid bone. Now we're going to talk about one of the most important parts of the radial ulnar joint and actually the wrist joint itself, which is this little articular desk over here. This is the articular desk of the radial ulnar joint. It is very clearly triangular. So I'm going to look, try to look at it alone over here. So it is triangular. It actually looks like a guitar pick. Is I had a bit of what a guitar pick is. Uh, and uh, it is made up of fibrocartilage. It has a base right over here. This base attaches to the uh, medial edge of the ulnar notch. So the medial lower edge of the ulnar notch attaches to the base of this articular desk, and its apex attaches to the styloid of the ulna. Barafon and Bainin separated, but it is actually attached to it. Tamam? What it basically does, or what's the job of this articular desk? It strongly unites the radius and the ulna, so it is actually very important to uh, articulate these uh, two bones uh, and for the joint itself. And it also separates the radio ulnar joint from the wrist joint or the um, ulnocarpal joint or the radiocarpal joint and all the wrist joints, uh, all the other wrist joints. All the other sorry attachments of the wrist joints. Its proximal surface, uh, which is uh, the superior surface of it, articulates with the head of the ulna directly, and its uh, distal surface articulates with the triquetrum. Uh, okay. Now another thing that I was hoping to be able to show is something that we call the uh, pre-styloid rhesus, which should be shown right over here so as you can see there's a little bit of space between this articular desk and um, the uh, synovial membrane of the capsule itself and this little space over here is something that we call the pre-styloid rhesus okay now we're going to talk about something that we call the triangular fibrocartilage complex ligaments the triangular fibrocartilage complex ligaments what it does they are a bunch of ligaments okay and they form a, a three-sided shape uh, and um, what they do is that they hold the ulnar head with the triquetrum and it supports the distal radial ulnar joint so this complex حيكون معمول من الفايبر كارتليج اللي هو هون تمام this fibrous layer تمام and the uh, ulno triquetral ligament the also the uh, ulno lunate ligament uh, what else also the dorsal and the palmar radio ulnar ligaments and then another thing is the this sheath as well is part of this complex. So again, this complex is made up of this uh, extensor carpi ulnaris tendon sheath. So this sheath is for the extensor carpi ulnaris and the um, palmar radio ulnar ligament, the ulno triquetrum, tri triquetral ligament and the ulno uh, lunate ligament as well as the posterior, uh, this one, the dorsal radial ulnar ligament. So all these ligaments make up something that we call the uh, triangular fibrocartilage complex ligaments. And these, uh, they 
as, as I said, they hold the ulnar head with the tarquetrum, and they also support the radial ulnar joint. Okay, okay. Uh, the movements of this joint, this joint is primarily responsible for supination and pronation of the arm. Supination and pronation occurs um, through uh, several muscles of the forearm. Uh, supination occurs through the supinator muscle, which is above right there. Tamam. Uh, I'm not the muscular system yet, uh, but I think if you see the lecture lecture three, you will know it. How come the biceps are also responsible for the supination? Uh, also, the pronation. The pronation. Um, بتكون مسؤولة عنها البرونيتر كوادراتس and the pronators teres muscles هدول هم المسلس المسؤولين عن البرونيشن و السوبنيشن of the arm و this is the movement of the distal radial ulnar joint now actually I'm gonna do one thing عشان to explain better the movement of um, this uh, joint this is the pronator quadratus okay and then I'm, we're gonna see the pronation movement and I just wanna show you how the Ulnar notch slides over the, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, the ulnar notch slides over the head of the ulna, and so the ulna becomes posterior and lateral to it, and this is the pronation movement. Tama? Okay, so we're done with the first joint of today. The second joint is the um, the radiocarpal and the ulnocarpal joint, which is actually the wrist joints. The radiocarpal joint is a direct joint between the radius and the um, articular desk. So it's actually a joint between. Give me a second. Okay, so it's a joint between this radius and this articular desk and the carpal bones, specifically the scaphoid, the lunate, and the triquetrum. So again, radiocarpal uh, joint is a direct joint between the لاحظوا انه ما حكيت قلنا حكيت articular desk عشان فعليا القلنا does not directly articulate with any of the carpals and so it's between the radius, the articular desk, the scaphoid, the lunate and the triquetrum as I said the disc separates it from the ulna uh, uh, it also has a capsule now the capsule is not actually shown over here but there is a synovial membrane and synovial capsule usually the ligaments that hold this one together is actually the ulnar collateral ligament, uh, which is right over here. طبعاً هاي إذا لتذكر كانت part of what of the triangular fibrous complex uh, ligaments, fiber cartilage complex ligaments. And then it is also held by the radial collateral ligament, and it is also held by the uh, ulnar lunate and the ulnar ulno triquetral ligament. هدول هم البونز they're responsible for stabilizing this wrist joint the radiocarpal and the radio ulnar okay another kind of joint that is found in this area هم المدcarpal joints المدcarpal joints هم الجوينتس اللي موجودين بين ال proximal carpals with distal carpals so for example this joint right here is a midcarpal joint another joint that's a midcarpal joint is it's not really shown very clearly, but this joint is also a metacarpal joint. And then another type, the fourth type of joints that we're going to talk about is the intercarpal joints. The intercarpal joints, من اسمها, it uh, attaches the joints together, however, uh, the carpals together, but um, the ones that are adjacent or within the same row, and they have a gliding movement. So... For example, this is an uh, intercarpal joint. This is also another intercarpal joint. Intercarpal joint. I'm guessing also this is an intercarpal joint. Yes, it is. So these are all intercarpal joints. Now the movement of the wrist joint. Come on, this is very important. The movement of this wrist joint is a one movement. And I have here flexion. Flexion occurs through the flexor carpi radialis, the flexor carpi ulnaris, the palmaris longus. And they're also assisted by the flexor digitorum superficialis and profundus, and also the flexor pollicis longus. Uh, <laughs> my pronunciation is a bit weird, uh, but they're all Latin. The extension is another movement of this rest joint. مسؤول عنها الاكستنسر كاربي راديالس هدول بيكونوا اللي هم المسلز اللي وراء ومسؤول عنها الاكستنسر كاربي راديالس بريفس ولونجس والاكستنسر كاربي ألنيرس as well 
الاذر uh, اكستنسرز كمان الموجودين بالبوستيرير فور ارم برضه مسؤولين او بيساعدوا بالاكستنشن اوف ذا هاند او ذا ريست جوينت زي الديجيت ورم الانديسيز الديجيت مينيمي والبوليسيز لونجس الابدكشن مسؤول عنه الفلكسر كارفاي ريدياليس الاكستنسر كارفاي ريدياليس لونجس اند بريفس وكمان اوبفيسلي الابدكتر بوليسيز لونجس و ال اكستنسر بوليسيز لونجس اند بريفس تمام Uh, الأدكشن مسؤول عنه الفلكسر and extensor carpi alnaris وطبعا الريست جوينت ما فيها روتيشن لأنه uh, ما فيها direct rotation لأنه السوبينيشن والبرونيشن بيعوضوا عن the need for this movement A quick view about the fractures of this area of the body اللي هي الهاند The most common fractures are of three types هنا كوليز fracture طبعا مش عارف إذا حكيته صح بس I think it's كوليز And then we have Smith's fracture and the scaphoid bone fracture. Cooley's fracture is actually found right over here in the distal radius. And uh, it happens when you dorsally flex your hand. Shani dorsally flex your hand. Yani, when you put your hand on palms down or palms to the floor. And they flex backwards or flex uh, dorsally towards the dorsal aspect of your hand. hand هاد بيصير ب... it causes something that we call Cooley's fracture واللي هو موجود right over here على ال uh, I don't know if I can show it I'm gonna try بس وعادة بيكون الفراكتشر موجود هون شايفين زي هيك تمام وبيبين معنا على الاكس تري another type of fracture اللي هو ال inverted أو بسميه ال inverse Cooley's fracture اللي هو Smith's fracture uh, موقعه كتير قريب من موقع ال uh, الكوليز فراكتشر بس الفرق انه بصير when you eventually flex your hand or when your hand تنطعج لجوا so for example واقع على your forearm specifically مثلا الاثليت وهم ماسكين كرة او اشي وقعوا على their forearm uh, and then ضغطوا عليها what was flexed eventually فبصير عنا the smith's fracture هلا whatever uh, او يعني اغلب ال wrist fractures برضه they are accompanied by A scaphoid fracture. The scaphoid bone fracture. عادة بيكون هون عند the middle part of the scaphoid bone. This is because, أكيد, this is the thinnest part of the scaphoid bone. اللي بيصير إنه it's very common. يعني نحكي عن 60% of all wrist fractures برضو بيكون فيهم a small fracture of the scaphoid. المشكلة فيه إنه it's not easily determined. يعني مش كتير الواحد بيقدر يفرق بإيش إنه it's a full-on fracture. Uh, we could feel very little swelling. Uh, however, in some of the indications, and we could feel pain with tenderness on the uh, thumb side. We could feel a little pain when you're gripping things, and um, you also can't move your thumb very well. We could feel a deep ache in your wrist joint. However, these are usually, as I'm saying, it's very difficult to spot a fracture. I mean, most of the time, it's So it, if it does go unhealed or it does not, it does go undiscovered, uh, it can cause wrist arthritis. خلصنا هيك عن الفاكتشرز. رح نحكي شوي عن الفاشة of the hand. The hand fascia is um, كل حياتها يعني ligaments. و we we know what a fascia is. و specifically إشي كتير مهم منها هو إشي نسميه the palmar aponeurosis. ورح نحكي كلهم عليهم in details. First of all, this is Something that we call the palmar fascia of the hand. The palmar fascia of the hand is actually continuous with all of these other parts. So, for example, this part, this part. They're actually part of the palmar fascia. Uh, the most important part of this palmar fascia is this very thick center, which is something that we call the palm palmar aponeurosis. The palmar aponeurosis has its base towards or pointed towards the um, Fingers and its apex is right over here, and it is held by the tendon of the uh, palmaris longus. When had palmaris longus? Right over the over here. So high palmaris longus muscle, and it attaches right there directly to the apex of the palmar aponeurosis. And من تحت the palmar aponeurosis بمتد على fingers or the base that goes towards the fingers. We have a rib in a part of the fascia of the palm, the flexor retinaculum. The flexor retinaculum is a uh, or is what holds uh, a lot of tendons um, together, and it forms the carpal tunnel. Okay, another part of the um, palmar fascia is the um, 
proximal transverse ligament and the distal transverse ligament or also called the natatory ligament. Those ligaments, Lihumahon, as you can see, they're kind of they form the base of the uh, palmar epineurosis and they give it its uh, tri triangular shape. This is here is the proximal transverse ligament of the palmar epineurosis and this over here is the natatory ligament or the ligament or the distal transverse ligament. Also, we have the commissural ligaments, which are found right here. So these are the commissural ligaments. This is the distal, this is the proximal. The distal is the one that's actually more uh, involved with the palmar epineurosis. And it's part of the thenar fascia. Thenar fascia, uh, it attaches to the uh, al muscles of the, uh, the thenar muscles, which we will talk about later on. Also, another part of it, will palmaris brevis muscle, and the flexor tendon sheath. The uh, flexor tendon sheath is this one right there internally. So this is the flexor tendon sheath. If we remove this right here, we see the flexor tendon sheath. It's also par part of the palmar aponeurosis. And uh, the uh, palmaris brevis muscle, uh, which, is, as we said, is part of the uh, palmar epineurosis. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the flexor retinacula. The flexor retinacula is this ligament right here or this fibrocartilaginous part. The flexor retinacula is a thickening of the deep fascia. It holds the flexor tendons all together and it converts the concave anterior surface of your hand. So this right here is the concave anterior surface of your hand. So it converts this part of your hand into a, a osteofacial tunnel or carpal tunnel. Is a tamil hake of edak or if you uh, dorsally flex your hand, a bit in your hand has uh, lines, tamam. And so the most distal line that's found at your wrist is actually uh, equal or anafs um, mustawa il edge of the flexor retinaculum um, of the wrist. Medially, it is attached to the uh, pisiform joint. So let's take a quick look right here. Its medial aspect is attached to the pisiform and to the uh, hook of the hamate. Laterally, it is attached to the tubercle of both the scaphoid and the um, trapezium bones. Now also, laterally, it has a little tunnel right there, if you can see it little tiny tunnel and this is made up for um and it's also you know fi become tunnel but it starts dividing to a superficial part and a deeper part and this tunnel we more min no il flexor carpi radialis muscle tendon uh, another important thing about the flexor retinaculum is that it does not extend to the radius and the ulna medial to it or mish medial to it in its medial ish part we la a flexor tendon sheet so zay ma its lateral part so let's say it's it's divided this way so it's lateral aspect they make a more fear as if you can feel your tunnel or the tunnel we move in the flexor radius uh carpi radialis muscle tendon or the lateral the medial ish part sorry the medial ish part we move from the um the confine the common flexor sheath will be more for your flexor muscle tendons another part which clear and bayon but so we hold في عندنا زي a little opening جنب ال sheath هذا تمام إيش بنسميه ال guidance canal وهذا بيمر منه ال ulnar nerve ف let's quickly also show you the ulnar nerve so شوفين this ulnar nerve okay so this little ulnar nerve تمام هذا بيجي superior لل flexor retinaculum بس بيمر من this little canal thing اللي هو معمول من هذا ال ligament وبنسميه هذا ال canal ال guidance canal also another thing حنمر عليه is the carpal tunnel. The carpal tunnel is flexor, flexor retinaculum. Tamam? Because it's made from flexor retinaculum, or you can cross section very quickly. So this is uh, the palmar aspect. This is the distal view. Tamam? Or, um, this is, sorry. This is lateral, this is medial. زي ما احنا شايفين هذا هون الشو ال flexor retinaculum. فوقي superficial to it حنلاقي ال ulnar nerve right here أو ال palmar branch of the ulnar nerve. Okay, so كمان حنلاقي ال ulnar artery superficial to it. حنلاقي ال ال tendon اللي هو هذا اللي هون. 
is also حيكون superficial palmaris longest muscle tendon is superficial this tendon right here this one the flexor carpi ulnaris tendon برضو بيمر superficial عليه so flexor carpi ulnaris tendon ulnar artery the palmaris longest tendon فوق هيو فوق و ال palmar ulnar nerve و كمان ال palmar aspect ال uh, palmar cutaneous aspect of the median nerve هدول كلياتهم parts that are superficial to the flexor retinaculum uh, deeper to it is إذا نبلش برضو medial و نروح lateral حيكون في عنا ال flexor digitorium superficialis موجودين بال compartment هاي tendons تعونهم also حيكون طبعا إذا منتبهين هدول two rows تمام وعنا الرو الثاني اللي هو الفلكسر ديجيتورم بروفوندس اللي هي تحتيها تمام هدول بيكونوا one row تمام also we have the median nerve برضو بيمر من تحت وعنا الفلكسر policies longest اللي هو right here so so no deeper to it flexor policies longest بعدين عنا الفلكسر ديجيتورم superficialis which is made up of two rows الفلكسر ديجيتورم Palmaris, which is uh, one row, oh, sorry, profundus, which is one row, and then in the median nerve, هدول كلهم بيكونوا deeper. لما نطلع من ناحية ثانية across. وزي ما حكينا, this whole thing, this whole part is what we call the carpal tunnel. And because it is called the carpal tunnel, uh, another thing you'll see to be serious, serious, the flexor carpi radialis, برضو محسوب زي كأنه deep. تمام مش محسوب من superficial. فهم نحسبه زي كأنه one of the deeper parts of it. This whole thing that I just talked about is called the carpal tunnel or this tunnel اللي بيعملوا الفلكسر ريتيناكيلم is called the carpal tunnel. This carpal tunnel uh, means, you know, we can have something that we call the carpal tunnel syndrome, which is a swelling of this sheath اللي هون. طبعا هي filled with synovial fluid فممكن يصير فيها swelling. إذا صار هذا swelling تضغط على median nerve اللي هو هون. وهذا uh, أول ما تضغط على median nerve it compresses it which causes pain. And it causes the خدران كمان so pain and numbness. Something that I want to talk about very quickly is the flexor digitorum superficialis. Okay, this muscle right here. I'm gonna fade all the others. طلعوا لي عليها شوي بسرعة. This is the flexor digitorum superficialis. The tendon course is بتلاحظ بيمر من the carpal tunnel. بعدين بيطلع من the carpal tunnel وبيروح على the Four fingers in the middle, and then it attaches to the medial phalange of the first to the of the second. Then the fifth. Okay. 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 إذا حصلت مكانها نفس مكان السوبرفيشيالس اللهم بس it extends even further and reaches the distal phalange what happens is that the flexor digitorum superficialis actually splits into two parts and once it splits into those two parts اللي هم هدول okay so it splits into two parts this is superficial and then this is the deep splits into two parts بطلع من تحتيها البروفوندس flexor digitorum profundus and it reaches until it attaches distally over here. وزي ما احنا شايفين ال superficialis attaches medially or to the medial phalange. Okay. Okay, now this little thing that I've highlighted in green or clicked on is something that we call the flexor sheath. And من اسمه هو الشيث اللي that surrounds the tendons of the flexor digitorum muscles. Okay, and this right here, the... Flexor sheath also goes or very many issues in terms of extensor expansion. I'm not sure about this one, or I don't know where it is exactly. But so it's basically part of the joints, kind of, who bend all the way back to cover the extensor muscles in the dorsal aspect of your hand. Another thing that we have that's related to this part of the hand is those ligaments right here متخبين تمام بيكونوا تحت التندنس وهم بربطوا ما بين التندنس of the flexor digital muscles and the bones وفي uh, لهم two parts uh, long or short ones واسمهم الفينكيولم ligaments فينكيولم ligament اوكي تقريبا اخر اشي وصلنا اللي هو uh, الاكستنسر retinaculum 
عندنا flexor retinaculum extensor retinaculum so extensor retinaculum هو this thing over here this extensor retinaculum uh, إذا لاحظتوا ما إله دخل بالفلكسر كثير بالعكس هو جاي uh, superior to it شوي وأكيد it's in the posterior aspect of the hand uh, this extensor retinaculum it holds the extensor uh, tendons and positions فتقريبا نفس الجوب إذا بتلاحظوا في برضه هون عندنا الشيث أكثر من sheath لا التندنز بيمروا منهم. Okay, so these are all the extensor muscles. تمام. اللي بيعملوا the extensor retinaculum is that it forms six compartments or six tunnels. Six compartments دول بيمر منهم various tendons of various extensor muscles. It is attached medially to the hook and the fusiform. تمام. So هلا بورجيكم بسرعة. So medially, it is attached la el hook we el pussy form, while laterally it is attached to the lateral aspect of the radius. Hello. So as we mentioned, this is the extensor retinaculum. We assume the the posterior aspect of the hand, especially the under wrist joint, into six compartments. The compartment the first one is this compartment. Okay. This compartment here, tendon sheath of the abductor pollicis longus and the extensor pollicis brevis. So these two muscles right here, the extensor pollicis brevis, which is the thumb, will abductor pollicis longus. Be recognized the first compartment of the extensor retinaculum. Third compartment, here on, these two, these two are actually one compartment. وهي بيكون فيها ال carpi radial extensor carpi radialis longus و ال extensor carpi radialis brevis second compartment third compartment هي هاي third compartment بيكون تحتوي على ال extensor pollicis longus so هي ال extensor pollicis longus هون هي ال third compartment ال fourth compartment وهي أكبر compartment و the one right in the middle which is the tendon sheath of the extensor digitorum and the extensor Indices muscle. Hey, this one right here, the extensor indices muscle. Very much more than this sheath. The fourth compartment, which is the one right here, this fourth compartment, be more than the extensor digiti minimi. Very weird name. This muscle is kind of cute. Extensor digiti minimi. Anyways, and the sixth and final compartment, which is this one, the extensor carpi ulnaris muscle, and this becomes the extensor retinaculum. عمل six compartments where من هم different sheaths and different muscles. The extensor digitorum muscle, بس بدي أحكي عنها لأنها كتير مهمة بال. هي it basically makes up the whole dorsal aspect of your hand. تمام. What it does or what it has is that في إشي هون مش كتير مبين صراحة أو أنا ما لقيته. بس this muscle مع الثانية. Okay, so this muscle, من عند هون, تمام, بتمر من إشي اسمه sagittal band. Sagittal band, أنا مو ملقيتها, بتخيل إنها this one, but to be completely honest, I am not 100% sure. في sagittal band, المهم, هاي sagittal band, اللي هي right, أو موقعها هون. My point is, the sagittal band بتطلع منها later on two ligaments. Okay, this one right here, هدول the ligaments. هدول the ligaments, هم نسميهم the oblique retinacular ligaments. The oblique retinacular ligaments بتطلعوا من إشي نسميه sagittal band. تمام؟ هدول the ligaments مهمين ليش؟ عنا طبعاً the right and left oblique retinacular ligaments. و مهمين لأنهم they support or they attach to the extensor tendon and the Middle phalange. So, in the middle phalange, here they attach to it. What they do is that we have to support the interphalangeal joints or circular joints of your fingers. Tamam. Speaking of circular joints, we have here two circular joints. So, here we have four. Here we have one metacarpal carpal joint. Sorry, metacarpal phalangeal joint. So, here we have here. And these are the joints of your هيك تقريبا بنكون خلصنا كل شيء ضل اخر بارت اللي هو احنا بس مطالبين نعرف الاسماء مش مطالبين باي شيء ثاني اللي هم المسلز. Okay, the muscles of the hand are divided into parts او into زي 
كاتيجوريز الكاتيجوري الاولى هي الثينار ماسلز الثينار ماسلز من اسمهم اي شيء فيه ثينار يعني معنى اخر ثمب تمام ثينار ثمب فالثينار ماسلز هم دي ابدكتور بوليسيز رايت اوفر هير ابدكتور بوليسيز بريذس تمام ذس ماسل and then we have this other muscle the flexor pollicis brevis طبعا انتبهوا انه احنا في عندنا uh, flexor pollicis longus هاي بتمتد من الفور arm the brevis بس بتكون عند ال hand joint من اسمها قصيرة تمام فبنشيل هاي ونشيل هاي عشان اورجيكم the other uh, muscle برضه thinar muscle we have this muscle اللي هي the opponent's muscle the opponent's muscle الحلو فيها انها تعمل uh, مسؤولة عن الروتيشن of your um, thumb تمام والابدكتر من اسمها مسؤولة للابدكشن اوف ذا ثم الفلكسر من اسمها مسؤولة للفلكشن اوف ذا ثم اند ذن ذس لاست ماسل اللي هي الادكتر ادكتر بوليسيز ماسل لها تو هيدز بس اتس ون ماسل الابليك والترانسفيرس تمام ذا اذر ماسلز الموجودين بالهاند هم الهايبوثينار ماسلز بيكونوا على الاوبوزيت سايد اوف ذا ثم عندنا ذس ماسل رايت هير ويتش از ذا بالميرس بريفيس ماسل بالميرس بريفيس ماسل تمام؟ and then uh, عندنا this muscle right underneath it and uh, inferior to it is the abductor digiti minimi. so احنا عندنا digiti minimi ثانية. okay digiti minimi من اسمها minimi to your mini little finger. فدائما نذكره minimi يعني حتودي على وين على little finger because it's your mini finger. so this is the abductor digiti minimi. and then if when we remove هدول sorry. And then when we remove the two muscles, بتلاعل now more muscles underneath, which is this muscle right here. This is the flexor digiti minimi. So digiti minimi. So we have extensor and flexor. The extensor is coming out. The flexor is coming out. The abductor. So we have abductor, flexor, and extensor. And the last muscle, the hypothenar muscle, is present. It is this one right here. which is called the opponent's GT minimi and also the opponent's are aware of the rotation and the rotation the other muscles of the hands that you have to move on them are two types the lumbricle muscles and the interosseous muscles the lumbricle muscles how do they keep them? they are in the palmar aspect so we have one lumbricle muscle two lumbricle muscle three and four and then we lift the edge a little bit بنشوف ال interosseous muscles ال interosseous muscles في منهم two types deep و superficial أو بنقدر نسميها dorsal و palmar so this is the dorsal interosseous muscle first one two three four interosseous muscle دول كلهم dorsal نعملهم هايد بيبين عنا ال deeper ones اللي هو ال palmar interosseous برضو palmar interosseous palmar interosseous and وهيك بنكون خلصنا the muscles of the hand بضل عنا آخر آخر شيء ال muscles مدام حكينا عن muscles يعني لازم نحكي عن movement تمام مدام حكينا عن muscles اللي هم thin or muscles أكيد رح نحكي عن the movement of the thumb فبالتالي the movement of the thumb includes flexion, abduction, adduction, extension and rotation now the flexion of the thumb uh, بيكون شوي غير I'm gonna show you very quickly إذا بقدر the thumb flexion بيكون زي هيك والاكستنشن بيكون عكسه بيكون لبرا and we're just gonna take a quick look على ال uh, الفرق بين بينه وبين ال adduction ال adduction بيكون لجوا مش يعني يعني your 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 thumb فايت لجوا أو قرب على ال index finger مش إنه uh, الأنجل يعني ما قلت anterior اللي خلينا نحكي تمام And so on. We have the rotation, which is the same as caused by the opponent's muscle. So again, flexion caused by flexor, obviously. Extension caused by extensor. Abduction caused by abductor. Adduction caused by adductor. And the opponent's muscle causes the rotation. The last part we're going to talk about in this lecture, and I hope you will finish it, is the arterial supply of the hand. So very, very, very quickly, we're going to talk about the arterial supply. أهم تو بارتس نعرفهم عن الأرتيريال سبلاي هم الشغلتين أول شيء this uh, palmar superficial palmar arch and this the deep palmar arch نبلش بالسوبرفيشال palmar arch 
كان فيد everything else أورجيكم إنه it is an uh, extension of the ulnar and the radial uh, arteries تمام so it is an extension of the ulnar arteries and the radial arteries will be joined together وبعملوا لنا هذا superficial arch وإلو كتير branches مش كتير مهم نعرفها and then the جوا 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 كتير عنا ال deep uh, palmar arch ال deep palmar arch هيو أورجيكم شكله برضو حلو بدي بالمر ارتش انه هو ايضا it's an extension of the uh, palmar branches of both the radial and the ulnar arteries specifically ببلش من ال radial uh, artery انا بحاول ارجيكم شوي مش عارفة اذا حيبين كتير او انا مش عارفة اوكي so اذا شايفين هاي ال palmar arch من برا بمر uh, هاي هاي ال كي حامل اشي تاني عشان كل شي يكون اوضح This is the radial artery. بطلع منه the palmar, the palmar, the palmar arch. بعد the palmar arch بكمل وبيروح it joins all the digit, the sorry, the digital arteries. اللي هم هدول اللي هم digital arteries عادة بطلع من the superficial. فا they somehow also join مع ال مع ال deep و بكملوا حرا حوالين the wrist joint. إذا بتشوف يعني هاي تكملته حوالين the wrist joint and then eventually بيروح برجع بيجتمع مع ال um, ulnar artery right over here تمام وهيك بنكون خلصنا المحاضرة هاي جد كتير بتمنى انكم تكونوا استفدتوا بتمنى انه اكون سهلتها عليكم شوي uh, بعرف الان تم كتير صعب بس يعني I think انه if you try to imagine كل اشي which is why complete anatomy is a great resource حاولوا دايما تتخيلوا مواقع الشغلات اكثر من انكم تحفظوا بصن كل اشي مكتوب او كل اشي بنحكى وبس والله ان شاء الله تكونوا استفدتوا شكرا كثير ومع السلامه